Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay. Uh, back with more of the finals, and I might do like a little bit of a a, a, a different uh, oh excuse me a different loadout. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna actually. Hmm. I might just go back with the glitch grenade. I know I changed it like last last video, but I, I'm, go, I'm gonna go back to the glitch grenade and see how useful that can potentially be. Because I am playing ranked and in ranked, none, none of that shit matters. What, what do I mean? Um, you don't see a lot of lights for thermal vision to be useful. And the lights you do see are just like maybe one or two like lights with um cloak. And maybe people who are just doing it for content. But I think a lot of lights have been gravitating towards the uh, evasive dash. And again, I'm putting myself through like the stress of the LH1. Because I want to unlock the all, all the skins for it. I do like the LH1. But I think the LH1, is the accuracy... Yeah, you have to play the LH1 a bit differently. Or, you know, we could just play the heavy and not care about anything because I'm not going to have two lights on the team. So, we now have a heavy gameplay. Something different. Hey, heavy with a shotgun and uh, my badass aim. And what, and what do I mean? I mean like bad ass aim. Like my aim is just complete shit. Well, we get a, a new perspective on um, everything. Two is gonna be above. What's going to be lurking around the corners out there in the dark? Low visibility for this round. For once, our arena has How do we get up there? Stirred. It's a straight up playing field for this round. That's how. The overdogs are crowding into vault one. Our teams have made their presence known as we've got our very first elimination of the match. Shot mm. some trigger happy contestants out there today. I'll bring that down here, why not? All right. We could see a team wipe on the shock and awe. They're down to just one contestant. Seriously? Cash out in progress thanks to the Vogues. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Kinda like get rid of all the uh, ways of getting in. Why is our that that's our light player? You have a shield now. You'll be fine. Shock and all lose another. 
There we go. About fucking time. That took way too long. I had to waste. Um, what are you shooting down there? Oh. Okay. I want to get my rocket launcher back up. Completed a cash out. And just like that, a new vault has appeared in the arena. Hmm. Kind of like blow that shit up. Repairing explosives. Oh my god. Is that the light player? No, that's not the light player. That's the medium player. The light player is right there. Don't fight! The overdogs have Let's see how they back. And this is why, as, as a light player, you have to choose your engagement times. What ended up happening was... The light player did not choose his engage time. He chose poorly. He chose to fight. I'm gonna go for C. Like, he's already fucking up. The retros have been rattled. Team White. Fuck it. Quick to cash out deep. Cash out set in motion by the shock and all. Like, I fucked up trying to go for it, but you know, it is what it is, right? I'll take that. The retros have respawned. Let's see how they bounce back. The Vogues just jump started a cash out. Shield is get inside. Danger. The retros are currently at risk of being eliminated. Come on, get up. Did you just You really did that, didn't you? Fuck it, I'll take the high ground. That, no, that wasn't it. That's not anybody. The retros will need to try again. Team wiped. I was in. That's fine. That is fine, because like now they're gonna try to go for a steal. And now they don't have anything. Ah, oh, come on. Now, how do we win this now? How do we win this? The light player is like focusing on like damage, on getting like kills. We have a minute and twenty seconds, so we have to go for like a vault. Who has that vault? Oh, a new vault. 
out. This is going to get very interesting very fast. Prepare for a tumultuous turn of fortune as we've raised the damage levels in the arena to new extremes. Mm. A minute still remaining. Let's see what they make of it. The shock and awe are in trouble, but don't count them out just yet. They still have one contestant left. The retros are out on top. All right. Go for it that way, please. The shock and awe just made their return to the arena. With only 30 seconds to go, our contestants are still bringing the action. I'm dead. Come on, somebody get it in there. Ten seconds left. Let him, let him. Okay. Okay. I'm dead. Who wants it more? Our You're dead. To show the world. You're dead. Don't let me try. And now we lose. Alas, the Vogues have been wiped out. Do we have time? No, we don't have time. We actually don't have time. We lose this one too. Nah, again, the, the light player is focusing too much on like attacking, especially with like with, with their gun, right? Like this, this is why like you're stuck in silver. This is exactly why you're stuck in silver because like these eliminations, they're not turning into like cash outs, and I think people need to stop with like. So here's my my entire mentality, right? I'm gonna go back to light real fast. I'll play one more ranked. If, if, if I fail, I fail. If I don't, I don't. But here's the mentality, right? People are oftentimes going for eliminations that don't actually matter. Or they're picking fights they know they don't have... A, they, they, they think in their heads they can win. And people are not realizing, is, is this a fight that I win? Or is this a fight where I back out grab a teammate, revive, so on and so forth. No one's thinking that far ahead. Not in this game. They're thinking, can I get the kill or can I not get the kill? Can I get the elimination or not? Can I get the team wipe or not? That's what people are thinking. They're not thinking like objectively of, okay, I'm one versus three. Can I win this or how do I win this? They're not thinking like that. They're thinking I can do this because I'm better than them and then they get knocked out. So people need to stop thinking, I'm better than you, and you need to start thinking, what can I do? For example, there are no mediums here, so I don't need a, a glitch grenade. The two lights here, uh, we are in under construction, so there might be... I did not want to do that, actually. I, I, I picked frag grenade because uh, I'm an idiot. I wanted a uh, breach to be like pyro grenade. One recon, one invis, and a uh, evasive dash. And so here's my game plan for this round. Here is my game plan. It's not gonna be at this point. Don't get a vault because uh, because we're not we're not gonna get it. Contestants might want to put on their hard hats as the arena is under construction this match. But kind of like play far, right?
I'm not gonna go for the attack. I'm gonna wait till they go for uh introduce themselves as we've got our first elimination of the match. I'm so excited, I didn't even hear what you said. This could be bad for the tough shells, June. They're on the verge of a full team wipe. The tough shells will need to come back from that wipeout. Come on. Fuck. No, nah, they they actually just breached and we need you to go pick up the heavy. The high notes are initiating a cash out. You should have gone for the revive. A team wipe mishap for the retros. That's what it is. Should have gone for the revive, but you you fucked up. This, this is where you fucked up. Go for the revive. Don't go for the elimination. Don't go, go for the revive. Reason being is like the revive is far more important than um the elimination. Because again, you're fighting uh, like the way the, the way you are fighting is like you have a chance of losing. I tried fighting that. This is just fucking done. Like, th this is just, like, this is the entire thing of, like, stupidity, right? Stop trying to go for, like, some flashy elimination. This is why I hate the iron sights for this fucking weapon. I'm sorry, I was behind cover. This is another thing that pisses me off. It's like I'm behind cover, but I still die, and the only way I died is because like the only reason I died wasn't because of like anything like substantial. I need to like go all the way down.
Okay, I gotta stop shooting wildly. Did you really just shoot that way? I know what you're probably hoping for, or what somebody's hoping for. You're dead. Please, just live. Just go. Just leave. Just leave. All you gotta do is leave. I will spawn in. Fuck! We don't win. Like everything just fucking went wrong. A track and field career, at least in high jump, as our low gravity event continues. And is that a vault? Yeah, that's a vault. We're not getting that time. The retros are back on the scene, moving to cash out deep. Nah, we lose. Doesn't matter what happens now, we lose. Will they stick to the same old trick in the next round? Oh my god. I ran into that mine. The thing is, like, looking at all of this, like, one, Phantom Blazer had a fucking sledgehammer. He was not winning. Two, Mox was after eliminations. Not actually gonna win. I'm trying to do what what I can. I fucked up all of my. This is me fucking up entirely because I wanted a different um gadget. Because the gadget I wanted wasn't like to switch these around. I wanted to switch the breach charge with like pyro or glitch. And I just completely fucked up. But like. One, the LH1, it, let's go to like what happened in that, in that round, right? I'm fast firing the LH1, which is already a bad idea. You don't want to rapid fire that shit. You, you want to be able to like pick off targets from like a good distance, mid range. It's not a close range weapon at all. It can be used close range, but you're not hitting your shots. So it's a mid range weapon at at best 
And what really holds it down is the iron sights. If you change the iron sights to be a red dot sight or a different sight altogether, maybe even just take off that sight entirely, and it'll be a better weapon. To me, that sight is really damaging to the weapon. Two, a lot of what went wrong was, um, I'm trying to be a team player, but like the team doesn't know where the fuck to go. And like they're fighting fights that reasonably really should not be fought. And I went inside to try to help them. I went inside to try to like, I should have got like the revive off and just ran. I should I should have just ran, but I, like like a fucking dingbat, I decided to die. And just like so much so much went wrong. And the, the problem with the 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 problem he the problem with that match was, not the lack of communication. Communication shouldn't really like play too much of a role, if you know what your role is. That'll be the thing, right? If you know what your role is, it's not too much of a factor. But understanding that you have to stay, just sort of stick as a team. Like, don't be too far apart, but like be spread out enough where you can go for like a pincer attack from multiple angles. And the heavy had a had the good idea when uh, I put the cash out in, but because we got staggered long enough, where we only had one good push. And again, I ran into that mine. Just everything went wrong all at once. I, I have good games, I have bad games. Also, another thing is um, some of like the server issues, right? So I got shot through a wall, or I died through a wall, which. I hate, and it shouldn't be a thing, but I guess that's like server side, uh, server client side, whatever. And the fact that a lot of times, and this is, this is what it is in like solo play, a lot of times you're not going to know what to do because the team doesn't know what they want to do or they're focusing on completely different objectives. For example, the heavy, I don't know what the heavy was focused on. The medium, I feel like the medium was focused more on battle than um, objective. And nobody, everybody keeps saying, like, these are like a lot of things I hear people say all the time in like a lot of different games as well, where like there's an objective and it's just go for the eliminations, go for the eliminations. And I get it, the eliminations are important. But only when they, like, contribute to the cash out. A lot of times, people chase eliminations that do not need to be chased. And oftentimes, they lose because of that. <sighs> it is what it is. So, thank you for watching. If you're going to take anything out of this, just... Take, just keep in mind that as a, as a light player, all of your gadgets do matter. And it shouldn't just be like, pretty much, um, it shouldn't be like, these are your only gadgets. Glitch, XP, stun gun, and then whatever else. These two should not be your only gadgets. And this shouldn't be like your only specialization. Learn the other other specializations, and you 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 realize just like the cloaking device is only a combat. Like here's what here's, here's what I mean, right? So like evasive dash, I can use it in both combat and movement. The grappling hook can be used in both combat and movement, but more more so for movement. The cloaking is not a movement ability; it allows you move movement by being invisible. But once you get shot up, that's it. You, you have to go for the retreat. 
and then you can't do much else. With the evasive dash, I can actually like juke opponents. Also, don't be afraid to experiment with different things. Like, I'm using a flashbang. It's not the greatest thing out there, but it helps. In a lot of in a lot of scenarios, it can help. And with that said, uh, get the fuck out. The tavern is not closed. I shall see you guys later.